What is going on guys? It is your boy Sisso here, bringing in the top three designs of the week, week number eight. Yeah, I like to talk in the beginning of the videos, you guys already know, so I'm gonna keep it nice and short. As always, uh, straight up guys, do not forget to submit for the week number nine. I'll be in the top of the, uh, top of the freaking, oh god. The link in the top of the description is where you guys would submit. It would say, like, submit here, and right below that would be, like, you know, spotlight winner. So that's going to be the spotlight winner of the week. So make sure you guys go follow all the winners that you guys see. Make sure you guys treat all the winners the same respect, the same, like, you know, cool support that you would have, uh, you would like if you were to win yourself. So please maybe, like, comment down below what you guys liked about them, all that cool stuff. Uh, straight up, guys, hope you guys enjoy your week. I will see you guys on Friday. And if you guys are doing exams like me this week, then good luck. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, good luck. Yep, you already know. <laughs> Later. All right, guys, top the designs of the week. Week number eight, number three spot goes to the 2D slash like all around, I guess, social media advertising designer known as Youth. By the way, that's a really cool name. I, I'm feeling the name, by the way. I love how you spell it and stuff. It's really cool. Um, So, yeah, so he said that a really cool Soar Preis, Preisis, 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 Preisis. See, you know that name? Fuck that. No way. Um, seriously though, the color scheme on this like little project that you uh, did with the, it, it's a very simplistic style, but at the same time, it's, it has a really, really well executed, almost complex kind of feel. Uh, when you when you come to like executing the actual banner design overall, right? Or header designs. So he has like a whole bunch of like squares and such. And I'm like I said, I'm really, really, really feeling the color scheme. It's a very simple two tone color scheme, but it like looks really, really freaking good. And I believe you have like a noise kind of texture in the background, which also makes it look super sexy. And your depth of feel was super awesome with like the Gaussian blur and some of the squares around and stuff like that. And then like the, the like the low key like I guess placing text like in like the left hand box, like on the top of the left hand box. He like made the D a little bigger and whatnot. And then you have like come on. Uh, then you did like, you know, the, the, the sword, whatever his name is, the left hand side really small as well. These little dots like all over the place. There's like this really, really cool attention of like really simple, I guess, spacing detail. And I'm a fan, okay? I love this project. I love when you sent it in. I was like, yo, bro, like this is this is legit. This is what it is. Like this is really freaking pretty. And then you go to his portfolio. Um, just straight up, he has like a really cool variety of like, I guess you would say banner designs, advertising, uh, advertising designs, and logo designs. So he kind of touches around like every little spot, which is pretty freaking sick. And like, honestly, I'm believe that if you keep executing this style that you sent in like i yo bro like can i have one you know what i mean like this is really really freaking sexy well deserved third spot and uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one all right guys top of the designs of the week week number eight number two spot goes to the motion designer known as dntz this dude's 19 he sent out a really cool 3d i guess uh for a client or something like that radian um super super freaking awesome now the reason why i actually really like these banner uh excuse me these uh entry designs was for like one specific reason now i feel like when i look at these entry designs they look like they were like an executed like really dope grungy eerie kind of like 3d banner design that you would like you know always love to see like a really cool active 3d banner design that's not as clean or not like clean you know what i mean but just like executed with this really fun atmosphere right and then you like wanted to think about how it looked like if it was in motion that's how i feel that these uh actual designs uh the motion designs look like it's super freaking awesome it's super attractive i love the style and it's like something that i really don't see much i always usually see like 3d intros that are just like you know like a flying logo smacking on something or something like that you know what i mean but having something like this which really like i guess active that's what i really honestly like and also with the little um what do you call it? like cinema Cinema, not cinematography, the, um, the zoom ins, the sit oh, bro, what is that called? I know I have it. <laughs> you guys don't try to talk about the close ups, the cinematics. There we go, like little cinematics before the actual logo is shown or the name is shown. The materials that you're using are super freaking awesome. The lighting is on point, the particles are dope, and the font choices are really awesome as well. Like a really cool modern esque, like bolded font. I'm a fan. I really believe you're really like extremely well deserved second spot. Like this dude is actually sick as hell. Make sure you guys go follow him. Twitter.com slash DMTZ uh, TG. Uh, so make sure you guys be like, yo, you got place, bro. And they'd be like, you know, go congratulate him and stuff like that. So yeah. All right. On to the next one. Number one spot. All right, guys, top three designs of the week, week number eight, number one spot goes to the social media designer known as e Ear, Ear Lads, Ear Lads, I think that's how you say it, he's also 19 years old, this dude, okay, like, for, for one second, like, if you guys remember, like, the fun, like, old style, like, 3D, um, you know, banner designs that are kind of, like, not, like, outplayed, but just, like, you know, just doesn't appeal as much as, like, it used to, this dude takes, like, that fun style, that awesome, like, that like that fun like two to three year span where it's just like a whole bunch of fun 3D uh, banner designs and then just like takes to a whole other level where it's just like something in its own it's it's in its own level like look at this bro like he sent it a really cool uh, dare 
uh, header design for, I guess, uh, Nezi, I guess a player or something like that. I don't really know. However, this, like, come on, the composition of this, the color is really dope. The overall activity of, like, the banner designs actually looks like it's in motion. That's something that's really, really freaking dope. And, like, key for me when it comes to motion design, uh, excuse me, when it comes to 3D uh, designing for, like, headers and stuff like that. Like, bro, and his portfolio. His portfolio? Okay, his portfolio. Just, like, if you guys know, you guys understand, like, the color scheme is on point. The, the, the overall activity that's in the actual design, but then, of course, it's executed to a way where it's still, like, you know, it's it's still super freaking clean, and that's something to like really be incredibly proud of. Like this dude is is unbelievable. He's really really freaking good at 3D designs. I'm not like I said, I I just I can't like I just feel like I I am stuck in the motion of like the old 3D banner designs. Where it's just like you know that you know like a played out version, but this dude like it just makes that and like takes that and just like makes it his own and makes them really freaking beautiful. So. A freaking incredibly well-deserved number one spot. Like I said, when I looked at his portfolio, I was really pleased. I was really happy. I was like, yo, this dude is sick. And you guys should really honestly go follow him. YouTube.com slash Earlads Graphics. I, I think that's how you spell it. I, like I say, I don't know if I'm saying it right. But also, uh, make sure you guys follow him on Twitter, Earlads Graphics as well. So, like, same thing. So, just please go follow him. Give him some love. You will see the link in the description down below to actually subscribe to him. All that cool stuff. So, bros, peeps. Make sure you guys go submit for week number nine. We're almost at double digits weeks, bros. Like, that's crazy. We've been doing this for eight weeks already, which is pretty cool. What is that, like two months? No, a month and a half, right? So, regardless, make sure you guys submit for week nine. You have nothing to lose whatsoever. You guys already know. You guys are like, I already see many, many of you guys, of course, submit multiple times. Submit, you know, every single week. And then, of course, these guys, like, who were submitting this uh, this week, of course, may have submitted a couple freaking times as well. And then they got finally freaking placed. So, make sure you guys submit. There's nothing to lose whatsoever. A couple thousand people get to see all of your work at one point like come on that's freaking sick so make sure you guys leave a like all that cool stuff make sure you guys follow all the winners that you guys saw in the video here today make sure you guys i guess subscribe if you haven't already and uh talk to you guys later so let's wait you out peace